All right, here are five things to know as you start your day. A man is in custody this morning after a standoff in Brunswick. Police say they got a call around 7.30 last night about a man threatening staff at the Best Western on Gurnett Road. They say Richard Simpson from Tacoma, Washington threatened to stab people with a large knife he was carrying. Police say Simpson then went to his room and refused to come out. Eventually, Brunswick's special response team was able to get into the room and take him into custody. No one was hurt. Simpson is facing a serious of charges including criminal threatening and refusing to submit to arrest. Mainers facing soaring energy costs could soon be getting some short-term relief. Lawmakers are proposing a slate of measures to help ease energy costs, including one-time tax rebates, measures to speed up the application process for energy assistance funding, and changes in how the Public Utilities Commission seeks bids for the price of electricity. It's expected it will take several weeks, though, before these bills face any final vote. Maine's child care workers may be able to hold on to a boost in their pay. Child care workers' paychecks are currently supplemented with money from the American Rescue Plan. That funding, though, is set to run out later this year. So lawmakers in Augusta are considering a bill that would put $5 million toward those wages and other key areas of child care. It's an effort to help retain workers in the child care industry. The measure was unanimously passed in committee and now goes to the House and Senate for votes. Guidelines on masking are changing for the Maine Community College system. Officials say every school's mask protocol will now depend on COVID-19 levels in those specific areas. They add that each college will also follow state and federal CDC guidelines, recommendations from healthcare professionals, as well as local guidance as the presidents of those colleges make the decisions. And Spectrum customers in Bangor and Portland will soon be seeing their internet speeds doubled. The multimedia provider says it will increase starting download speeds from 100 to 200 megabits for residential customers in those cities at no additional charge. It's part of the organization's rollout of the faster service across 37 of its markets. They add that the speed increase will be automatic and will happen in the coming weeks. Faster internet means they can get to your forecast a lot quicker and sure. see what they want to see. There you go. Yeah, hopefully so they give them something to click on, get you? what they want. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's not guaranteed. No, that's not a guarantee around here, especially in the month of March. Although the next seven days are, you know, rather mild in general. In fact, the big storm this weekend is a warmer storm, too. It's more rain than snow outside of the mountains and foothills. I mean, the mountains are still going to get close to a foot, foothills three to six. Along the coastline, it's rain, it's wind, maybe a coating of snow as the thing wraps up Saturday night. Cold behind it, but just for a day, because Monday and Tuesday we warm back up into the mid and upper 40s. See, look at that. Yeah. Hey. All right, we've seen some beautiful shots of South Portland this sure. morning. Let's leave you with one of those. Take a deep breath. Enjoy your Thursday. Get outside if you can. It's going to be a nice one.